Yo, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Sisa and welcome back to another video. So today's video, uh, I'm going to install uh, E46 M3 side mirrors on my E46. So I got a pair of uh, side mirrors, uh, M3 side mirrors from uh, New South Wales. Uh, so I have to get them painted. So they are red. Uh, I have to get them painted in uh, Titan Silver Metallic, which is the color of my car. I have to get them painted and installed on my E46 and this video is about that. So hope you enjoy the video. So these are the two mirrors that I bought. As you can see this is red. I think this is Hellrot red. So I have to get these painted in uh, Titan Silver. So I already removed the mirror glass. So these are the mirror glasses. These two mirror glasses have two different uh, locking mechanisms. So I believe uh, this one is a newer version, I guess, and this one is a older version. So now what I'm trying to do is remove this actuator motor and all the internal components so I can separate this from this so the paint guy can easily paint it. Otherwise, I think he might uh, miss some spots. So I disassembled the side mirrors. Now these are ready to get painted. So I had to be extra careful when removing these actuators because these actuators cost like 300 US dollars if you want to buy them. Uh, if I break one of these, it'll be game over for me. So I had to be extra careful. So the side mirrors are ready to get painted and I'll be going to the paint shop tomorrow and I'll be handing over these mirrors and hopefully they'll do a good job on painting them. Just came to the body shop and handed over the side mirrors. Uh, super excited. Uh, he asked for 150 Australian dollars to paint the both side mirrors. I think it's a good price and super excited. Can't wait to get them. Fun fact, I came to the same place to get my uh, front bumper painted as well. And he did a very good job. And that's why I came here to uh, get my side mirrors painted as well. And his prices are very good and if you guys want to check it out it's automate body shop uh, it's in dandenong if you're around melbourne you can come to this place to get your vehicle body parts painted yo what's up guys uh so i got a call from the body shop and they told me that my side mirrors are painted and ready for pickup super excited hopefully he has done a good job let's go and pick them up side mirrors from the paint shop and they look amazing so guys uh, these are the painted side mirrors looking good there are some small imperfections here and there but definitely this is better than me painting it at home so guys, I finally uh, reassembled the side mirrors, installed the actuators, mirrors, glass mirrors, all that stuff, looking good and ready to install. So guys, I installed the side mirrors, uh, they look so much better compared to stock side mirrors that I had before and it matches with the paint. So guys, uh, I had to remove the door card to install these. Uh, for the coops, uh, it fits perfectly and there are two bolts. Remove the two bolts and remove the old side mirror. And the two bolts goes right here, fits perfectly. For the sedans, in order to fit them, I think you have to do some customizations to the base. So guys, uh, I ran into a small problem. The connectors for the side mirrors are different. This one has two six pins and this one uh, this one is a, 
uh, 8 pin connector so I'm not sure which wire goes to which wire so guys I did a lot of research uh, regarding this issue getting the actuators work and how to connect the wires I posted few questions on uh, some of the E46 uh, groups on Facebook so what most people are saying is to uh, swap the motors get the old motors from the from your stock mirror and install them in the M3 side uh, M3 mirrors so we have the same connectors and we can connect them directly uh, without any issues so that's an option I believe it, it involves a lot of customization to the internals of the mirror because those mirror those uh, actuators are different compared to M3 actuators so they don't uh, fit directly inside the mirror so you have to do some customizations in order to get them fit so so that's my second option so my first approach is to find a way to get them work uh, as it is without swapping the motors because uh, I think uh, it should be possible but if it's not uh, my only option is to swap the motors and I'll be fine with it So guys, I'm going to use this plastic to cut a, a circle which will fit on top of this as a base plate uh, for the uh, actuator. So the thing is, uh, I don't have a plastic um, cutting tool or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this lighter and this knife. Uh, I'm going to heat up the knife using this lighter and cut it, cut the circle using the knife. It's not going to be a precise cut, but it'll do the job. So guys, uh, I've created <laughs> two base plates using this plastic piece. And it was a success as you can see so the base plate uh, fits to this plastic piece like this and the actuator goes here like this a little bit of update uh, the base plates are done for both mirrors so now what I have to do is uh, fit the fit the mirror uh, mirror motor uh, to the base plate uh, to do that I have to create a small hole in the base plate and fit this part and I'm going to use some JB weld uh, to glue the actuators Also guys, I bought this uh, rotary tool to cut the plastic Which is much easier and saves a lot of time So guys, uh, I had to extend the wires of the actuator uh, because uh, they were too short to fit the M3 mirror housing. So guys, uh, I installed the side mirrors and uh, finally they are working after the motor swap. They are working perfectly as you can see and the other side. works with the controller and I'm very happy with the outcome and it also works with the uh, memory seats if I click uh, one of the saved uh, profiles let's see yep they were great so guys uh, I'm very happy with the outcome Finally, the side mirrors are working fine as they should um, and also the 
uh, power uh, sorry memory function is also working with the side mirrors so guys uh, i'll be doing the wiring for the power fold function uh, in the future but not in this video because uh, as some of you guys know uh, this is my daily and the project car so i really need the door cards and also I, <laughs> there are uh, exposed airbags so i'm <laughs> i'm a bit uh, scared to drive this <laughs> finally i can install the door cards and move on with my life it has been weeks like this and yeah super excited to install the door cards So guys, uh, since I removed the door cards, I thought of uh, fixing these scratches on the door arm. As you guys can see, uh, there are a lot of scratches. So what I have to do is get a 1200 grit sandpaper and slightly sand it to get rid of the rough uh, surfaces and get a satin black spray paint, paint it over. I'm not sure how well this will work, but let's try it and see. So guys, uh, it's time to restore the scratched surface. I used some masking tape and covered the area that I don't want to paint. And I sanded the area using a 1500 grit sandpaper. I slightly sanded it to get rid of the rough uh, spots. Also, don't forget to thoroughly clean the surface with a clean cloth. And I bought this uh, satin black spray can and I'm gonna Paint uh, five coats, five uh, light coats. So painted five coats and I'm letting it dry now. It came out great, but there are a few scratch marks uh, here and there, as you can see, but it's better than before for sure. <laughs> So guys, uh, finally installed the two door cards and they are looking great. Super happy with how they look. Next up is the center console. I'm going to try to restore the center console. I'm going to use the same method that I did for the door arm uh, trims, but that will be in another video. <laughs> Uh, today's car feature is this E36.
So guys, uh, this is uh, Vicum's uh, E36. Uh, tell us more about this car. Okay, this is uh, 1997 uh, 380 Naimaru. This is uh, AC Special Edition. Uh, this has the front and rear bumpers, original body kit. I mean the side skirt and the gear knob. All AC units, are right? Yeah. And the wheels? Yeah. So I had the previous, I had a uh, Type 1 AC Shinitsa wheel, so I recently changed to these ones because it's like... It has the... And everything. Yeah, it has the dish look, right? Deep yeah, dish look. The, yeah, yeah, deep dish look. So this is the 18i. It is a 1.8 liter 4 cylinder engine. It is the original engine. This is not the fast car, you know, not the fastest. So uh, since it's a long term project car, I might... Do an engine, engine swap? Yeah. yeah, yeah, in the future, maybe the same platform, yeah. maybe a different one. Hopefully, yeah, go for an M54, M54 yeah, yeah, B30 or B25. Yeah, hopefully, be nice. yeah. yeah. M54, M52, anything. Yeah, yeah, you are rocking coil lowers. Thanks, nice, <laughs> nice number thanks. plate. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Try BMW, and these logos are all original, yeah, right? This is all original. And I haven't done anything to the car other than these lights, wheels. So you changed the corner lights to amber ones, right? Uh, yeah, it was white before, then I recently changed uh, to the orange ones. And this is the original wing, right? Yeah, this is the original AC Shinitsa wing. And the tip also, the exhaust tip? Yeah, the exhaust also. tip, it's all uh, AC Shinitsa, the rear bumper, and yeah. So guys, uh, that's it for the video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you guys are interested in uh, installing E46 M3 side mirrors on your E46, uh, I found a, a very informative forum post. I'll leave a link to that forum post uh, in the description so you guys can check it out. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.